Hi guys, welcome to another session of Study PPC. Today we are going to look at how to create a smart display campaign in Google Ads. A smart display campaign is an automated campaign which focuses on conversions. This campaign looks at your historical conversion data and based on which it tries to bring you more conversions. This type of a campaign is very useful for an e-commerce company which is recording conversions for a while. In order to build this campaign, you require at least 100 conversions from search campaigns or 50 conversions recorded from display campaigns. So let's see how we can create this. In order to create this campaign, guys, we click on the new campaign and we are going to choose the goal of the campaign as sales. And now since we are creating a display, so we're going to choose the campaign type as display here. And now you can see the first option itself is a smart display campaign. You can give the website URL out here of your business. And then you can continue. In this campaign, what is going to happen is the targeting is going to be automated. What I mean by that is that you will not be able to do any kind of display targeting like we do uh, in a normal display campaign. So audience targeting, content targeting, demographics will not be possible out here. Since the system is completely, the campaign is completely automated, the algorithm will decide where to show your ads. So we will start filling up the details of this campaign. You can also give the location targeting. You can choose the language of your customers, what they speak. You can choose the bidding strategy as per your requirements. Since this campaign is focused on conversions, you can choose any of the conversion based bidding strategies, which can be a target CPA, target ROS or maximize conversions. Let's say for this campaign, I'm focusing on getting the maximum conversions. Then you can set the budget for this campaign. Then comes dynamic ads. Dynamic ads is primarily not for this smart display campaign. It is primarily used for dynamic remarketing. So for now, I'm unselecting it. We can go to our additional settings. Here, you can give the start date and end date of this campaign. So if you want to stop this campaign at any point in time in the future, you can provide an end date to it. You can also set conversion tracking. As you know, recently Google launched campaign level conversion tracking as well. So you have both the options out here. If you want, you can set up a separate conversion action for this campaign. Also, you get an option to exclude certain content which you feel it does not fit your brand. So you can choose those topics from here so that your ads are never shown to content related to these topics. Then we are moving into the ad group creation. So here you can go ahead and give a name to your ad group. And now you can see in targeting, it says that it's an automated targeting which looks at website visitor, landings page insights, and your search campaigns highest performing keywords to target your customers across the web. So now, as you can see, we are straight away jumping to the ad creation process. We are going to create a responsive display ad over here. So you can provide the landing page over here, which can be any section of your website. And based on which, you can also provide the images and logos. If you have certain images from the website, uh, the system will scan it and try to pick some images from there. Otherwise, you can also add your Facebook page to get some images from there. And if you have a Twitter page, you can add that as well. Otherwise, what you can also do is you can check out the Google stock images for the same website and Google will provide you some options to select from here, which would be useful for your business. So in this manner, you can select your images and you can attach it to the advertisement. Now that we have added the <coughs> image, we can go ahead and start writing the headlines.
The idea is that we need to provide as much information as we can while creating the headlines. The more information we provide, there's a higher probability of people clicking on our ads. As you can see, I am trying to fill all the headlines which are available, which can be used over here. You also get a long headline to fill up, which gives more space for you to describe your business. You can also give some more descriptions. The more information you provide, it will be better for the business. At the end, you can provide the business name. You also get some additional formatting options. If you want to add some other assets or auto-generated uh, video, you can apply, attach that to this as well. You also get an option to add any videos if you may have in the ad. Once this is completed, you can add this to your ad group. And now we are coming to the campaign creation stage. Once the campaign is built, so now you can see the campaign is ready. This is a smart display campaign which we have created. The name of the campaign as you can see on the top is Smart Jan 10th. This is my ad group. And now inside that we have created one ad which is going to be this, which is gone for a review. You can see the preview of the ad, of how the ad is going to look like. It will take like one business day for the ad to get approved. Once the ad is approved, the campaign can go live. Now on the left panel, if you go to audiences, as we spoke, this campaign is automated. So targetings are done by the system itself. So you can see you can't do any kind of targetings over here you only have the option to do exclusions, audience exclusions. So in this simple manner, you can go ahead and create a smart display campaign in the Google Ads account, guys. I hope this video was useful. And if you like this video, you can go ahead and subscribe to my channel and like this video as well. Please let me know in the comment section what else other video campaigns or other campaigns you would like to make, like me to create a video of. I would be happy to do that. Thank you so much today for, for today guys. Thanks a lot for today.